Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last part we finally set the sails and well we went all over from Windfall Island to this island which is called Dragon Roost Island and we got the instrument of this game which is the Wind Waker which is more like a actually like leading type of guy in the, like music thing I don't know how it's called but uh, yeah the Wind Waker. With that we can learn songs, which we already did, because we learned this song. The Wind's Requiem. Yeah, with that we can change the wind's direction, which will be in use later. But now we're supposed to go up. Let's see what this shield says. Wind Shrine Mail Center. Yeah, we want to the mail center. Let's see. Well, <laughs> we can go on here. Or we can't go this way. Whoops. So we have to take this. Wait. Danger! Do not take the explosive fruit. Yeah, we have to take those little bomb plants. Because those are actually bombs. Just put it here. Bam! There we go. Well, 10 rupees. Holy shit, let's go. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last part. But uh, in the view HD remake. There is a fast sail, which I think travels like seven times as fast as the as a regular sail, and you do not have to actually change the wind's direction, which is actually insane. To the mail center that goes this way, but the bridge is broken, so we only have one real way. Another bomb. Explosions are our friend, guys. This is what the game teaches us. Okay. Uh, Link. This soundtrack, the Dragon Roost Island soundtrack, I think won actually a contest, if I remember correctly, for the best Windbreaker soundtrack or best, one of the best Legend of Zelda soundtracks. I can't remember. It is deserved. I do think that is a bit overhyped though, but it's probably just me. Okay, take this. Come on, Link. Bam. The end. Here's a mailbox. But we can't use that. And here, here's the postman from uh, from Outside Island, which helped us. What is up, my guy? Justin? Justin, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you okay. Yeah, same. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister? Is she? Uh, well, you know. Uh, uh, is that so? Oh, well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I have an idea, Justin. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I think I've told my people here about you, and all of us, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our Ari. Dude, what are these words? It settled them. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Justin. I'll be waiting. All right. So we can talk with the chef here. With the chef Rito. We chose the species of uh, like the bird species of this game. It's called Rito. Might have heard it in games like Breath of the Wild or other games. Because they actually appear there as well. Alright, let's go in. Hello. What's up? Well, have you discovered the cause of the great Valusa Angel? Anger, and it's not Angel. Oh, so you're Justin, are you? Quill has taught me all about you. Quill is your name. Interesting. A troubling tale, indeed. No, indeed. I insist that you let us know if there's anything I can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. Uh, maybe you can fly over the Forsaken Fortress and rescue my sister? I don't know. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. Hmm. When you arrived on the island, did you notice the raging dragon perch atop the mountain? I did. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. I've got that. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is the scale that enables a reader to grow his or her wings. 
that's weird. Like, is this something biologic or what? How the hell does this work? Like, when they hit puberty, they're just going up there or how? Recently, however, their once gentle value has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are, who are of age will never be able to receive scouts from Malu and Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless and in time our very well, a very way of life will be threatened. As chief Tan of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? I guess. Chief Tan, what do you think of consulting Justin with regards to your son, Prince Komali? As you can G, just as you can G, what am I talking? As you can see, Justin is a gallant young lad. <laughs> I take it as a compliment. I feel certain that Prince Komali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That was a really, really long turnaround. That may be. Who is Komali? Let me be direct. My son Komali is of the age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways. At the light of the current situation, he may just give up on every and ever getting them. So sad. What to say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Ah, I guess. I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish you for you to give to my son. A young girl and Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I'm counting on you. Damn, that's uh, kind of insane. Here, yeah, Justin, take this with you. Who knows, it might come in handy. Da -da -da -da. You got the delivery bag. bag. Finely crafted bags like this are used by retail postmen everywhere. So many pockets, it can hold many items. Blah blah blah. Selected there. Nobody can cast. We should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Lift the great value to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Komali. God. I really have to talk with a fucking pre, pre pretty kid just because he doesn't want to do what the parents want. Something like pre pretty bullshit. This is Medley, by the way, but. Before we do that, we will play a little game, a little mini game, which I think gives us a piece of heart. Wait, no, I've not seen a young face before. Nope, don't believe so. Huh? You wouldn't be here in response to a posing for some part-time help, would you? Sure, excellent, that's good. But first to see if I can use you or not, I need to give you a little test, just a small one. Match you see on the end, match you see on the envelope with the same icon on the shelf and throw the letter onto that shelf. Really easy, simple. Use the shit to select the chef and press A to throw a letter. Like I said, simple. Is that clear? You. Before time runs out, you have to sort at least 10 letters. Give it your best. It's a little mini game, which I am actually uh, pretty good at. This is just the first run, so we can chill. Actually, we don't even get something important in the first run, I think. The second and the third one especially is the one where we get the piece of heart, I think. Not directly, by the way, but you will see what I mean. 27. 27 letters. Oh, wait, that's not the voice I had from. 27 letters, great, good, terrific. You pass. Okay, we got one rupee for every two letters, so that comes to a grand total of 13 rupees, am I right? Come back anytime, I mean at any time. The more letters you sort, the more you learn. Not a bad deal for both of us. Yeah, wanna play again? Let's go. 20. Yeah, we get that. All good, all good. I got this, y'all. I got this. Easy. Uh, easy, I mean. <laughs> I'm good at this game, by the way. Nah, usually I actually am pretty alright in this game. Like, not near the best, of course. You need good reflexes and be fast. You also have to take many risks sometimes. 27 again. <laughs> That's 27 letters. Splendid. Super. Your salary design is 1 rupee per letter, so I need to pay 7, 27 rupees. Come on by any time. I mean, any time. The you do, the higher, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We can do it one more time. This time we need 25. I think I skipped that, sorry. I pressed. What the fuck? 
the optimal is when you get like the same symbol like two or three times in a row that's like the best what i didn't go there wait 25 is actually gonna be insane no i fucked up No, I pressed the button! Oh god, I pressed the button! Yeah, yeah. Okay, we need to do it one more time. We can actually farm rupees here. Yeah, 25 it was. Okay. I was right. It was literally just because I missed one or two. What the fuck? <laughs> That's our best run yet. Come on. I know we're supposed to like go on with the story, but guys, this is important. Wrong. There we go. Cool. 27 again. What the fuck is this with? Is it with the 27? 27 letters. You've amazing coordination. Seriously, I'm stupefied. In Quiddles. Uh, stupefied, I think. We veterans do this all day long, and even we have a hard time reaching that amount. I've got to give you more money. Got to go. Got to. Three rupees per letter comes to 81 rupees. I can't even hold that much, dude. Hey, and I wouldn't have to be just with it, isn't it? Ah, I thought you looked like the lad that Shift Time was talking about. In that case, I should have expected you to be able to pull off something like this. I've heard all about you. Yes, I should have. You've had a rough time just then. I feel bad making you help us. But hey, things are looking up. Our new help has just arrived. Maybe you can give him some advice the next time we come by. Alright. I mean, it feels a lot of the time now to do this mini game. But hey, we have to do this from time to time. It is what it is. Hey, Medley. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. What do you mean, strange shaped hat? It looks cool. You're just an argue. Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Baloo. My name is Medley. Hi. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still starting to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here. Wait. Oh, what am I thinking? Here. This is from the shift in. Justin, he wants you to give this... Directly to Prince Kamali. What? You got the father's letter. Are you serious? This lazy ass just can't go to his room and just like have a father son uh, speak with the fucking Kamali, that guy. Just hey, son, listen, okay, we need to talk. That's all you need to do. Dude. That's uh, sad, but hey, it is what it is. The room right in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple steps to get there. Anyway, Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen, Justin. Yeah? I was my favorite, I'd like to ask of you. Oh, could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Goose Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. I see, I see, Medley. Okay, okay. Anyways, uh, let's go to Kamali. Kamali's room is right here. Lost some time because I fucked up this one game of sorting letters. But hey. It is what it is. What do you have in your hand? <laughs> yes, little fucking chickens. Interesting. Hey, Kamali. Huh? Where you supposed to be? Dude, that's, that's like a depressed Twitter user. Twitter kid. What do you want from me? Oh, yeah. We need to go to our delivery bag. Um, put it at C. And then here, look. A letter from my father. A letter from my father? That's just what I said. Not oh, sure. Tell me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through that horrible experience. It's not like he's the last to go to get a skeleton from Baloo. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose in other people's business. You're, n you're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scare from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what. If you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Boost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Oh, bro, that's what I just said. That's what I said. I told y'all that this is probably gonna be some depressed kid. 
who is sad, hates her, uh, their life, blah, blah, blah. It's the same every time. It's the same every time. Maybe you should stop using Twitter or something. Like, I think that's at least a progression, okay? Just uninstall Twitter, uninstall TikTok, uninstall all that bullshit. And then you're good to go. I think, yes, the helper is here. And this guy is a legend. Hey man, a new part timer. Green clothes and a green hat? Pardon me for asking, but you're just an aren't you? Yo, I knew it. You're a legend among the part timers here. I really admire you, man. Just once I'd love to see the legendary 25 letter sword. You do your best, man. Calm down, man. Calm down, it's okay. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> How many times? The little, like, uh, uh, bowl, bowl, waste type of thing. That one symbol looks like t uh, Tingle. Oh my god, I'm gonna disappoint him. Oh my god. Ooh. Barely. Oh my gosh. 25 flares. Amazing, man. I'm so impressed. Seriously, man. I gotta tell my mom back home all about this. Just gotta. Yo, I forgot a fifth dollars over me, man. I'm still here, so I'm not allowed to leave. So, would you mind putting this letter to my mom in the post box for me? Thanks a lot, man. Dude, I'm, I have a real fan. A real fanboy. Except the note to mom. <laughs> Keep it in a delivery bag, blah, 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 yeah. I guess I could just throw it in here with all the other letters, but you know. I just can't bring myself to do it. It's against the rules, man. Yeah, I see, I see, it's fine, it's fine. I, I, I will do the job. It's fine. I just have to, yeah, here. Here's the way out. Because uh, maybe, as you remember, there is a mailbox thing we can use. I don't need rupees. Okay, here it is. We have to like wait. Here's the the, the letter. Scout them and then show him. Then he fucking eats it. This part box nearly melts center on Dragon Island. Passage is only five rupees. What do you mean I have to pay? That's just five bucks, so it's okay. The post office are people next up for delivery. Thank you for using the island post office. We appreciate your business. Yeah. Five rupees, man. Why five rupees even, dude? The, the Dragon Wish Island post center is literally just right here. Dude, inflation. Inflation is kicking. I will show you where we have to go now. Because Medley is waiting for us right here. So let's go this way. Hello. Oh no. What's happening here? Oh, there she is. Hello. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great below, they began so angry and. In his rage, he shook the mountain. Uh, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Hmm. Oh, but where's my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Nah, he was a bit bitchy. That's all. That doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the Great Widow's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave, and unsurpassed in her dealings with the Great Valu. I am not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I possessed some of her strength, I am sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Just I'm sorry I have to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that is near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I am sure I could get up there. So, will you, will you help me? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. I yeah, will show you. You, have, you can just uh, look at, at Link's head, really. Because the, uh, the Link's head like glides into the direction of the wind. 
So as soon as it's like, just like that, we can throw a medley and she's up there. Oh, thank you. I think now I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Valu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may be just an uh, apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Valu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Komali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. What do you have? Oh, an empty bottle. Let's go. Bottles are great for carrying water and holding other things. That's true. Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Anyways. Nah, I'm just kidding. Of course we're gonna help her. We're not gonna let her completely alone and let her go into this hell hole. What we have to do is we have to get water. Exactly. Then we can go uh, back up here. I will show you all what we have to do. Because as you maybe saw at the beginning, those are those bomb plants. We have to water them so they become awesome again. Take the. Then we have to have we have to uh, have the right timing. Oh, that's the right timing. That was not the right timing. I am actually insane. Let me know. Yes. Okay. Woo. Game. It's just water. It's fine. And now that the spring is back. We can just swim over there and follow Medley, which we, of course, will. Can let a little attendant girl go into this hellhole without any help? What kind of fever would we be? Okay, that's just like basketball, playing basketball. Bam. Then jump over there. And do that. Whoa, that was close. Holy shit. Then we can go here. Alright. Let's go in there. Dragon Roost Cavern. This is the first dungeon of the Legend of the Legend Windbreaker. And how we get through this. We will see in the next part. I hope you enjoyed.